Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Monster Hunter. In the last episode, we defeated our first post-game quest uh, by slaying the Kezu. And now it's time for our next quest. So you could either go one or two ways here, really. Um, now, for some reason, <clears throat> as I mentioned in the last episode, you need like a piece of Vespoid armor to unlock uh, the Kezu mission. Uh, you do need, essentially, for three of the five post-game missions... Uh, you need to craft a specific style of armor um, on this, so it's a bit, it's a bit annoying, really. Uh, the last two, um, pretty much, it's if you complete certain missions. So since we're doing full completion, we'll be able to unlock those easily. So anyway, uh, oh no, did not mean to do that. So for this one, I've got Cephalos Mail. So I was able to craft Cephalos Mail. Uh, doing the land shark quest. Luckily, cephadromes are really easy for me to beat now. Uh, I usually beat them in about sort of 10 minutes and so not too long. Um, I also have a cool drinks uh, for this one because we're going to be going to an area that's hot. Specifically, the volcano zone. We're going for probably the next toughest uh, of the uh, post-game quests, which is Terror of the Gravios. This is the one you unlock if you have the, uh, the cephalos armor. Uh, 3,800 Zenny, 800 Zenny contract, 50 minutes, the Volcano Zone, uh, and you've got to slay the Gravios. Yes, very interesting uh, monster, this. The requester is a troubled noble. A fearsome Gravios has appeared amidst the magma and desolation of the Volcano Zone. Slay the fire breather for us. Okay, so this mission is actually surprisingly tame. For post game, uh, yes, there are certainly some ways where the Gravios can absolutely just destroy you, um, but I fought it twice, beat it twice uh, so far. So I'm going to see if I can get out of recording now for my third attempt. But I got a pretty de uh, decent strategy for him. Okay, so let's eat our rations up. So we're back in the volcano zone again. We will be back here, I believe, one more time. I think later on for the post game. Uh, so, what we're going to want to do first, just in case, this is a safeguard, just in case. Uh, so, it will turn up in Area 4. Um, that's where it sort of cutscene begins. Uh, it can move areas, uh, but the only area you're going to need to clean out is Area 5. It won't go into uh, other areas with, like, the Eye of Prey and stuff. Um, so, Area 5 is the next, is, is the area where it does have a couple of Eye of Prey in it, which can annoy you, so... Uh, and they are finite uh, enemies. I believe there's only four of them in there. So as long as we can clean them out, we're fine. Um, obviously, any of the areas that are sort of like that brownish color um, or red color, we have to have a cold drink or our health is going to slowly drop. So that's why I've got the cool drinks on me, just in case. All right, so let's down a cool drink. Lovely. Heat endurance has been increased. Let's get paintball out because we will be going to area four soon to fight the Gravios. Uh, proper. Alright, let's just get these Io Prey out of the way. Oh, okay. Got a shot off on me. Luckily, it didn't do too much damage at all. Block that pretty good. Okay. This is probably the more annoying bit. As I said, the Gravios is pretty tame. Uh, well, with the strategy I use, the Gravios is pretty tame. Um, I thought it was going to be an absolute nightmare. Um, like, probably the next three missions are going to be nightmares. Uh, but this is actually very tame. I might actually train off fighting the Gravios. I found it that simple. Like, that easy. So, I might do. I might do. I mean, the Gravios armor's pretty good. Um, it's got, like, 15 defense. Uh, which is quite nice. Uh, its resistances are okay. You know, I mean, there's, like, minus one. I think there's a minus two for water, but... The Plesioth is the only water-type uh, monster we go up against. Uh, mostly we go up against Fire, which I believe is a minus one, so that would be minus five altogether. It's not too bad, but I don't know what its um, extra ability is if I get a full set. That's what I kind of want to know uh, before I maybe try and get the Gravios armor. Because the extra defense would be great for the rest of the game. Uh, but, again, not too sure. Right, so this area's been cleaned out, so let's go into area four, uh, where we will get the where we will get the cutscene for the Gravios fight. Let's go, area four. Fighting the Gravios. 
I sure hope my hubris doesn't come back to bite me when I've pretty much just said, Oh yeah, this level, this this one's actually pretty easy. Uh, with, with the strategy I've got going for it. That said, it worked the last two times. Hopefully, uh, third time it works as well. But anyway, yes, this thing comes out of the lava and the magma, and I don't know which version it is. Probably... Probably magma. I don't know. Anyway, but that is the Gravios. It's a massive stone monster. Um, it's huge. This is a large wyvern. Um, so you can get four cards off this thing. Five cards if you use seven of its tail. Uh, so it is pretty much the alpha version of the Berserios. Um, that we fought earlier. Which again I thought was pretty tame. Uh, there are two things that are different with this, um, with this monster. I'm just going to paintball it now. Try and keep it in area four since... This is quite a nice area to actually fight it in. Uh, so, it pretty much just has the moves of the Viserios. It has the old charge. It has the tail wag. Uh, it has the old tail turn as well. It has that charging move, which luckily we just block it pretty easily now. Um, <clears throat> so, it's two variations. So, the Viserios has uh, the... Um, essentially, the poison cloud. The poison secretion, I believe I called it. Um, this has sleep. Which is pretty much like um, paralysis, uh, but if you get hit, uh, you wake up immediately, which is actually not bad. Its other attack is quite dangerous. It's its most powerful move. It's a fire blast, pretty much like a flamethrower, pretty much. Um, it's got really long range. It goes in a straight line. It doesn't move anywhere else. Oh, there it is. And that thing is incredibly powerful. That will probably one-shot me. Even on full health, that thing will probably one-shot me. Um, if I was to defend it, I don't know, maybe it'd take half my health in damage. It's that powerful. My strategy, really, is try to make sure I don't get hit by that. Because, obviously, that's probably going to kill me in one shot. So, best thing you can actually do with the Gravios is... Stay underneath it as much as you can because it really actually doesn't have anything that can really hit you as long as you just block properly. So I'm going to go for the old jabbing technique here. But yeah, I mean, it's Fire Blast can't hit you because it very rarely sort of moves um, out of place. It can do a charge, but it usually only does a charge if you are far enough away from it that you can actually hit it. It does do the old flying move here. Uh, but it usually just comes right back down. And I believe deals a little bit of damage if you're not blocking. So again, that's pretty easy. You don't get hit by the tail while you're underneath it. You just jab away at its foot. Uh, sleep is as annoying as it can be. It's fine. Um, sleep. Pretty much as long as you're underneath it when you fall asleep. You can dodge it if you want, but I, I don't plan to. So, um, yeah, as long as you are underneath it when it's sleeping, it's usually okay. Unless it goes for the, the shoulder tackle. Um, it won't, because you won't get hit by the fire blast if you're underneath it while you're asleep. So, you know, the only problem is, the only problem would be, obviously, if you, uh... Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to move in. As you can see, I'm trying to move in to try and be, uh, under its feet. That's also because if I get hit by the stomp attack, it'll wake me up. The stomp attack is its weakest move by far. It does do very little damage undefended. Um, so I'm just going to jab away at its foot again. Uh, again, just like the Viserios, uh, it is... Um, you can sever its tail. You can also break its chest armor. Um, its chest, again, just like the Viserios, is its weakest point. So you're going to want to try and break that. I'm just going to... Stab away quickly because I do not trust myself and my hubris right now. Right, it's going to go for sleep again. That is fine. I am underneath it. Just going to take a quick drink while I'm asleep. There we go. Lovely. Okay. So yeah, at the moment, this boss seems pretty tame so far. Um, obviously, people can have problems with it depending on what uh, weapon you've got. Um, I would recommend Lance or Greatsword. Greatsword's actually pretty good here. Uh, because of its overarching attack. Um, that it's got the, the overarching attack. Um, you know, the sort of the, the overhead swing. Um, can do a lot of damage to its chest plate. And usually... Right, I'm going to need to get back in 
to position here. Oh, okay, nice. Always good to have your shield out. You know, as much as, yeah, it's going to make the battle a bit longer, you really need to block these attacks because they are, they can be pretty dangerous. Right, I think I'm in a good enough position there. Yep, I can't get hit by the tail. Brilliant. He's missing me with a stomp as well, so I'm just not going to take any damage here at all. Oh, okay, it's flying. That's fine. That is okay by me. Okay, let's just keep jabbing away. Oh, okay. Got hit by the tail that time. I'm going to need to run here. Oh, God, what was that? Was that fire? I don't know. No, I might have been asleep, I think. Yeah, I think that was asleep. Oh, God, he's running. Okay, he's running. All right. See, if you noticed, he didn't do that run at all while I was just underneath him. So you can mitigate two of its best moves by just being as close to him as you can, which is quite nice. Right, what's this? This is the fire blast. Yes, it is. Look at that. That's, as I said, that is its most powerful move by far, but my strategy mitigates it pretty much completely. So I'm going to try and get underneath it again and jab away. Oh, okay, that's fine. The foot stomp is its weakest attack. Okay, what's it doing now? It's going to jump in the air. That's fine by me. I am losing a lot of stamina, though. That kind of sucks. Right, I've lost all my stamina. Need to get that back, so I'm just going to start jabbing away again. There you go. Okay. So we're looking pretty good so far. Um, haven't had to heal much. And I've done a decent amount of damage. It, it does accumulate because of all the poke. Because the pokes? Essentially, yeah, they're pokes. I'm poking him in the foot. Right, so I'm going to position myself in to fall asleep right here. Because that's not a bad place to uh, fall asleep. Because that'll wake me up. Oh, okay. I need to run now. As much as, uh, yeah, you're, prob you're probably best staying um, uh, underneath it. I do not trust it um, when it comes to healing. I just don't. Okay, he's going to go for the run. That's going to get me back to full health with a heal. Lovely. Right. Then we'll go back in and smack it again. Welcome to the Gravios fight. So, yeah, if you fight it properly, this thing could be a pretty nasty, uh, pr pretty nasty, this could be. Um, but with my strategy, luckily, it doesn't. That's the Fire Blast attack. I could probably tempt it into doing the Fire Blast attack a lot more often. And that will allow me to... Um, get at its sort of chest plate. Alright, so I block that. That's brilliant. So I know where to stand. There you go. And it does nothing to me. Nor does that. And then my stamina goes back. See, pretty, pretty simple. So far. I'd say we're probably about nearly halfway through at the moment. I'll feel a lot happier when the uh, chest armor has been uh, has broken oh good shot that was but luckily didn't do much damage that is not like the plesios version of that the plesios version of that absolutely destroys me uh, but this nah. all right let's try and get some attacks off on the chest armor there we go got, got a lot of unprotected attacks there yeah, that's another move it likes to do instead of sort of like I believe, I believe that's what it does instead of sort of like falling over and what and sort of uh, flailing about so uh, you can deal some damage to it. I think instead it does that roll instead, um, which is fine. I just need to reposition myself a little bit. Okay, I'm back up. When when you uh, get back up from this thing, more than likely block immediately. Oh, the cool drink's gone. Okay, I'm probably going to have to leave here at some point. To, well, maybe I can drink another cool drink. That'd be quite nice. Okay, I'm probably going to run here. It's my best opportunity to run away. Okay, he's going for the shoulder barge. I'm going to drink a cool drink so my health doesn't go down. And what are you going to do now? You're going to run at me. Cool. I'm going to uh, get myself back to full health again. Great. The only way that I'm going to leave this area is probably whetstone. If I need to whetstone my, uh, my weapon. Um, obviously, I am blocking quite a lot, and that does lower the sharpness of my weapon as well as my attacks. Okay, you're going to go for the charge. That is fine. I'm going to bleed and follow you. Try and get underneath. Oh, tail. Okay, okay, that wasn't the tail. That was the sleep. 
That is fine. I'm in a good position here. Just having just having a nice old nap as this thing apparently misses stepping on me. I don't know how. He's right on essentially the top half of my body with those big old feet of his. All right, weapon power's decreased. All right. Also, my yeah, my stamina is going down quite a lot. I'm probably going to eat a well done stick as well. Okay, nice block there. Oh. Okay, yep. Yeah. This is going to be a problem. So I'm going to run. Uh, run, please. Thank you. Right, into area six. So this will allow me to... Uh, yeah, this will allow me to essentially eat a well-done steak, sharpen my item. Might put a power juice on, actually. Yeah, I think I'll put a power juice on at this point. I can make power juices pretty easy, so yeah, that's fine. Okay, well done, steak. Done. Here comes a mini whetstone. <clears throat> and a weapon's back to full sharpness. And a power juice. So, uh, more than likely, that's the last time I'm going to have to leave the area. The only time I'm going to have to leave the area. Unless this thing leaves the area. The m oh, yep, need to paintball it again. Good thing I noticed that. I missed. I didn't miss that time. Okay, oh, okay, that's fine. The old stomp does bugger all. Right, let's try and get some jabs in. Oh, okay. It's w Yeah, its wing is very powerful. <clears throat> it's got a very powerful wing. Oh, I'm in a bad position here. If it goes to the fire blast, I might be dead. Okay, didn't. I'd take that. Okay, this I need to block this. Okay. Whew. All right. Let's uh, use it in the first aid. Where are you? I want to know where you are. There you are. Hello. Uh, can you stop and go for an attack, please? That'd be nice. You're just attacking me now. Damn you. Okay, there we go. Just going to go for the old charge. That's fine. Going to get an ordinary potion going as well. Brilliant. I said, this thing is pretty slow. And uh, I said, at the moment, this is trivial. This is a trivial boss fight. Right now, they could have probably put this at uh, a four-star quest, and I still wouldn't have had a problem with like my old weapon. I probably would have had a whetstone a lot more, but that's about it. I've also got poison on him as well, which would be quite nice. <clears throat> but yeah, as long as you've just got decent armor um, and a decent weapon, you're fine here. See, again, fire blast does bugger all to me because I'm too close to it. I am too close to you. Right, stab away its foot again. It's chest armor. St oh, okay, that was that was a bad move. Should have blocked that instead. There you go. Now I'm underneath its tail, so it can't hit me. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's going for sleep again. Okay, I'm in a good position here. That's fine. I'll probably get stomped on. Okay, you're just continuously sleeping. I'm fine with that. So the step doesn't matter to me. Okay, what are you doing now? Okay, you went for the barge. I was able to block that. Okay. Lucky you get the, po the potion in there. I was on half health, so didn't trust myself just in case he got a lucky shot off. All right, come on. Keep the stab in. Okay, you're flying again. That's fine. I got power juice on. Does not affect me. Okay. Probably need to get a bit more liberal with my attacks here. Okay. That's fine. I got three attacks off there. I think on the chest piece, so we're good. Just waiting for that thing to break. Okay, you're going for the old continuous sleep. Good to know. And then you're going for another sleep. Luckily, the sleep, uh, the, the sleep doesn't do any damage to me. Obviously, that would suck if it did. That's probably the best move it can do after the sleep, because that actually does no damage to me. But it does wake me up, because the wind would wake me up. Brilliant. Okay. Okay, he's going for the roll. That's fine. That does a little bit of damage. I need to position myself again. Uh, oh. Okay. All right. Ugh. That would have one-shot me. Almost certainly. Right, let's get a bit more liberal with my attacks now. There we go. I'm underneath its um, tail. Ah, okay. Got some good attacks off, though. And here comes the sleep again. I'm fine with that. Wait for that chest armor to break. 
Shouldn't have too much left until the chest armor breaks, and then it has a massive weak point. When it does that. Once it has its massive weak point, I can just charge in. Alright, I'll just bugger all. I said my speed bus has gone, so this is going to lower my stamina by quite a bit. Let's try and jab away at it. Nope, it's not gone yet. I think it went for the... Did it go for the fireball there? Or maybe the scream? Maybe it's in rage mode now? I don't know. I'm honest, no, I haven't actually been looking. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Thank you, immunity frames. <laughs> For helping me out there. Much appreciate. Alright, there's the old shoulder barge again. We are fine with that. Just going to keep jabbing away. I want to break that chest armor. I want to break that chest armor. I think... I think... Nope. I thought I broke it then. I didn't. I just sort of stunned it a little bit. Where of my health... Oh, my health's getting a bit low. Oh! It's getting even lower than that. Okay, I need to run. Run from the fire! Okay. Get me back over half. I'm just going to go for an ordinary potion here, just to get me back to full. Pretty much full. Right. You're continuously going for fire blast. I'm going to get take this opportunity. Try and jab you in your chest. If you keep going for fire blast, you're going to get some unprotected shots. Uh, okay. And I got an unprotected shot in response. The old shoulder barge. That's fine. And my stamina's pretty much back to full already when you get back into position. <clears throat> I very rarely run out of stamina, right? Can I can I get to chest armor, please? Nope, it's just going to keep rolling. Okay. Come on, I want that chest armor. Okay, it's going for the fire. Let's give some more attacks. Try and not hit the wing would be nice. Okay, it's going for the fire again. That gives me some good chance to hit him. Come on. All right, that's okay, I guess. Jump down. And stab it again. Yes! Okay. Chest armor's gone. Finally. If we could just focus on that, we're good. It is moving quite a lot. I'm going to see if I can get some more damage in on it. There we go. That's going to do a ton of damage now because the chest armor is now its, by far its weakest point. By far it is. Okay. That is fine. Just need to try and get a good attempt to try and hit his chest armor again. Okay, he's going for the run. I'm going to get a quick heal off here. Gets me back to nearly full. Right. Need to get a good opportunity to hit his chest armor. Got to avoid that. Definitely, because that's going to hurt. Alright, jab away again. Brilliant. Alright, get some more shots off. Yeah, we're getting some really big shots in now on its chest on its Well, non-existent chest armor. That's going to do a lot of damage to it. So, this thing's probably close to dead, I think, now that I've knocked off his chest armor. So, I'm getting some big damage in. Alright, tail can't hit me. Let's keep going. There you go! And the Gravios is dead! Very, very simple. Three out of three there. Should I actually just keep fighting the Gravios to get more, uh, to get the Gravios armor? I actually might do. We get Gravios Shell, more Gravios Shell. We get more Gravios Shell. I think Gravios Shell is like one of the only things you can get from it. There may be something else you can get from it, but mostly it's Gravios Shell. Maybe, I'm not, I think you can get the Sleep Sack from it as well, since it does have uh, Sleep as an ability. So, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if you can get Sleep Sacks from this as well. Um, but yeah, mostly you get Gravios Shells, and you need the Gravios Shells to... Uh, well, to pretty much make the Gravios armor, which, as I mentioned, has 15 defense across the board. So, all together, that's 75 defense. All together, which is better than the 64 that we've got. With a lance, that would, uh, go, with our lance, that would go up to 78 defense. It's probably got something like sleep resistance, which is far, uh, sleep immunity, which is fine, but I don't know, poison immunity, I kind of prefer. I don't know. I'll have a think about it. Maybe we'll come back with some better armor. Right. We've got some large bone husks. We've got some medium monster bones. Some large monster bones. And four more Gravios shells. Making eight altogether there. We've got a lot of money there. 4,600 zenny as a reward. And update information. The Gravios Ecology movie has been added to the gallery. Brilliant. Alright, well, that is the Gravios fight. Um, pretty simple. 
I may train off the Gravios, who knows? That's it, it seems pretty, pretty simple uh, with the strategy I've got, so who knows? Alright, the next one that we need to unlock is a nightmare, because we need monoblus armor. We need a monoblus armor um, piece, any monoblus armor piece, uh, to unlock the next mission. Oh, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fight some monobluses, monobly, monoblus, uh, for this one to get that unlocked. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go for a break here and tear my hair out over fighting bleeding monoblus. Um, but in the next episode, let's play Monster Hunter. We're gonna be fighting our next post-game quest. Three left now. I'll see you then.